remains, and we'll hear about the polling throughout the week, and Dick Morris will be on on Wednesday, that the Republicans are really going to clean up uh, a week from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And you say? I say it's definitely a Republican year, but I think that these um, expectations have been a little bit overstated. I think the Senate, it seems it seems more or less clear that they are not going to be able to get the majority there. And the House, I'd say, is up for grabs. You know, I just heard Britt talking, and while I agreed largely with his analysis, he made two references that, that I don't agree with. One is that this has a lot of parallels to 2004. I mean, I'm sorry, to 1994. And while some of the things he stated were true, I think one of the things he missed is that this is a very different electorate than it was in 1994. You have a lot more people identifying as Democrats. The question then beca becomes, can they turn out? Will they turn out? Not do they exist? Which okay. Yeah. More the but remember, Alicia, you were like eight years old in 1994. So, I mean, I don't know, you know, Hume, he's 112 <laughs> years old, so he was there. All right, you know, Hume knew Chester A. Arthur in person. He knew, he knew him. He was a friend. Okay, Just because now, I wasn't old then, it doesn't mean I don't, I don't know my history. You know, that's what I say. You know, just because I wasn't around doesn't mean I don't know all about Napoleon, as I do. Okay, now, um, it looks like California and other reliably blue states mm -hmm. uh, are going to remain blue. I mean, Delaware yeah, probably no going to vote, there. you know, California. So, you know, you, you, it's funny. In California, so, only 8% of the voters think the state's heading in the right direction. Only 8%. Yet they're going to vote Democrats back in. And I'm going, you know, <laughs> if only 8% feel that the state's going in the right direction, what are you voting these people back in for? But, you know, it's funny when you look at these polls and you look really drop down sort of across questions, there are a lot of things that don't quite jive. No, you know, there, I know there that. Are still, and, and, and I think that part of, of what has happened here is that Republicans have really missed an opportunity to speak to the average American voter. You know, you said they're, they're angry, they're anxious. All of that's true. And if Republicans could have offered some vision for leadership that said, I know you don't like the way things are going now, but we can make it better, I think they could have actually won some of these races. Instead, they offered up this sort of nonsense plan that looked like a lot of other things they've done before, and voters don't want it. Well, we'll see. Okay, Alicia, thanks very much. We appreciate it. We come right back. Juan Williams.